Hey everyone, and welcome back to This Week in Bone Lab. Today is episode 45, and I have some of the coolest and newest, most high quality weapon mods to show you guys today. So, make sure you stick around to the end. There's also a few cool extras. And without further ado, why don't we jump in and check out some of these mods. So first up, I want to check out these butterfly knives by Son of Forehead. They look pretty damn good, and I honestly feel really cool when I'm just kind of throwing these things around and catching them. There's three different types. You've got this kind of like chrome oily look look. You got this void one, which I mean, who doesn't like a void variant of something like that? And just the normal one. They're fully physics based, so you can kind of have some fun with these, as you can see. I can push parts of it around with other parts of my body like that. I don't think there's any way to make the knife actually stand out, so maybe you just kind of throw these things and hope for the best. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm missing something, but it's certainly not doing anything to this skeleton. Out? Maybe if I do that. Maybe these are just more intended to, you know, kind of have fun and show off like this. Okay, can I just first say that I am amazed? Oh my god. God. Okay, so this is the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 shooting range map in Bone Lab by Delantrum. But look at the quality on this thing. It's crazy. Delantrum is one of our best map porters. Just look at this. Okay, once again, though, I should probably size up. And as you can see, the shooting range, these dummies actually go back and forth. That's awesome. And just before we get to shooting, I want to have a look around this place. There's like all these guns on the wall and stuff. Check these out. RPGs, snipers, SMGs, everything. God, it's reminding me of the Rexpec weapon pack. I wish I could just take this RPG and use it. These crazy, like, armored vehicles and stuff. This reminds me a little bit of, like, a facility from GTA or something. Really nice looking place. And the way the tiles actually reflect, like, differently, depending on how shiny they are, is awesome. Wait. Oh, my God. Holy sh... Okay. There must be a lot of polygons in this room because my frames have just dropped. But you can activate this room and have all this stuff spawned in mini guns attachments knives all the shotguns and body armor you could ever want oh my god this is cool although i do need to turn it off because it's destroying my frames there we go that's better that's really nice how it's a toggle so the weapon pack i want to check out is kazu's mini pack here's some of the weapons we've got a spaz 12 a fan favorite shotgun very unique sound i like that oh there we go a Glock 18, and that is quite the magazine. God damn. Oh, this is the one that's full auto, yeah. Jesus, that recoil's crazy. I want to see that as my little dude. Oh! He can't even begin to control it. Look, all the shots just go straight into the ceiling. If I want to shoot in front of me, I've got to aim, like, down here. Oh, shit, that just launches me. How about the P90? I've always liked how you reload the P90s. They have this really interesting magazine where it like slots in the top like that that's the pull thing okay and there you go oh i like the sound of this one certainly a very unique reload that you i mean obviously don't see on basically any other gun an ak 27 or 47 you know whatever they call them and the magazine on this thing is like beautiful orange look at that rack that let's go lovely the pack's filled with a bunch of other cool weapons too. I've, like, never seen this pistol before. I don't know what this thing is. To me, it looks like a mutant AK-47, because I don't really know my guns very well, but damn, it's cool. Oh, nice. It's like a kind of single shot thing. I like that. It's a bit more like a sniper. Honestly, a really solid weapon pack. I like these. Okay, just before we move on, I missed this. We have a six-shooter thing in here. It's one of these ones where it's kind of physics-based. You can actually flip... The magazine into the weapon, I love that. Put the bullets in. Let's go. That feels brilliant. Welcome to Dark City by Chara Y. It's a lot more crazier than I expected. God damn. So this is a sci-fi cyberpunk kind of city. It reminds me a bit of the grid map, which we played earlier a while ago. So this map seems like it's just kind of a big loop around this... Whoa, wait, is there something... Okay, if there's moving vehicles up here that I can interact with, this is going to be my favorite map ever. I need to see this. I need to see this. Oh, this is the best map ever. <laughs> As if this map couldn't get any better. There is, of course, moving train tracks which you can actually put guys onto and they'll be destroyed by the train. Just make sure you don't get hit yourself. God damn. Also, I didn't really look up. Oh my god, there's like buildings towering over us. Like, oh my god. 
There's like buildings towering over us in like all directions. Can we even fly out to those? You can land up here too? You're just on like a whole nother scale. There's like these flying cars that go through the sky. They remind me of uh, F-Zero. All right, this map is 10 times bigger than I was anticipating and I love it. Honestly, early exit zombies fit really well here. Everything's kind of bluey and I like that. Also got a really cool new avatar pack by Turd Snack and Brian Bones, which are these cleanup crew agents. They're like really high quality versions of Omni Projectors. And they actually have people in the suits and there's tons of colors to choose from too, like black, blue, green, which looks awesome. Orange, which is of course the Omni Projector classic and white too. There's male and female versions and there's also versions that have the visor blacked out, which they just look so sleek. Really feel like a Monogon agent clearing up this simulation of its zombies. So now we're on the glass bridge from a Squid Game, is it? So how does it work? Is it a 50-50 chance? Like, all the way across? Because you're going to get damn lucky otherwise. Let's try. Of course. So does that mean the other one's safe? Or how does this work? Oh, so it's 50-50, okay. Skeleton, please test for me. That means that it's a pretty low chance to be on the right again. So let's test that theory, skeleton. Yep, knew it. No, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Maybe? Oh, no! While we're here, I also want to check out an update to the Great Sword Pack by WhoTVR. They've updated it and added katanas, which is super cool. Check this out. God, hit him so hard it froze my game. This is a really interesting katana. It's like, it's like the handle's longer than the damn blade. Who the fuck is wielding this? Sephiroth? And for those of you that missed the great sword, I'll give you an example of this one. This one's got a little tooth in the end too, which is cool. I think it can actually stab. Oh, it can. Oh, wow. This is a lot more of a thin katana. I like this one. It's got like a white handle. This one, you should be able to be a little bit more agile with it. Like that. Your fate is sealed, skeleton. That never will not feel cool. Yeah. What a powerful beast of a katana. Oh! This makes me think, we really need some good, like, samurai avatars. I don't know if we've got any of those at the moment. Anyway, back to Squid Game. Luckily for me, I brung cinder blocks. Perfect. So it's gonna be two to the left, and then I bet it's gonna be... Three to the left, okay. I wanna try to do this legit till the end now, so there should be a 25% chance that I make it to the end, and a 75% chance that I'll fall, okay. Fake, it's fake. Yep, I knew it. Well, that's fine. Now it just increases my chances of making it. Okay. Two more to go. This one's going to be alternating. It's going to be right. There's no way. Told ya. Here we go. 50-50 chance that I make it to the end. I think, it, I think it's going to be left again. It's going to be left. No! So, welcome back to Test Chamber 07. It's been a while. One of my fan favorite maps. And here we have the Machete by Hindrigo. It's got some very nice textures, as you can see. Now, how about performance? Would help if I actually hit. There we go. Oh, they're good. Yes, that must hurt. They feel incredibly violent. I like that. Cleans up skeletons with ease. You guys ever heard of machete throwing? That was literally a bullseye. Oh my god. Look at that. That is very weirdly satisfying. Oh, he fell onto it and it stabbed further into his head. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There we go. I mobilized the crablet with my machete tactics. I was meant to look at this thing for a few minutes. I've ended up spending like 10 minutes just messing with it. It's too much fun. Okay, safe to say I got a little bit carried away with the machete. That's okay though. We've got a new weapon to check out. That is... The goob gun. What up, son? Ford pistol. Who farts when you rack the pistol? <laughs> Can't imagine what ammo is going to go into him. Okay, we've got a magazine that is filled with Xbox 360 games. <laughs> really? Holy! Oh, he's got the Gucci shoes. Okay, I see him. I see him. It's not as powerful as I thought. Oh, he kind of is if you get a headshot. Nice one, fish nugget. What a Amazing creation. 
That's all the mods I have to show you guys this week, so I hope you enjoyed. And if you saw a mod that you like, make sure to go download it and subscribe to the channel. The Burnout Iceberg project is going swimmingly currently, and it is gradually on its way, so be excited for that in the future. Thank you all, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. And a massive thank you to all of my current supporters. You guys make all this possible, so thank you so much for your support.